All right, we've got the Xeno Classic coming up. John V. D John V. Dill, and of course we are starting it on Small Battlefield. You would expect nothing less from a Xeno Winners Finals. Absolutely. Now do you remember folks, this is not waypoints, this is best out of three, always. We want to go home on time. Absolutely. Also, yeah, only 930? Whoa. Whoa. Ooh, all right, thrown up that gyro, keeping it out of play, almost saving John from that grab if he had thrown it just a few inches more to the left, but instead it is still in the driver's seat, not quite getting the strongest hit of the back air. Yeah, but you see, here's the thing. Dill doesn't Ooh. want to take that early kill. They need to practice their combo game. Little blinky eyes taunt as well. Dill is absolutely feeling good after that first stock. All right, and I mean, gonna respond. And she absolutely has the right to, because I mean, this matchup is somewhat John favored. Uh, I think it does go back and forth, but it is more so John Definitely. who takes this matchup. But really, making this look like a negative oh, that 10 matchup. Side Oh, that was definitely a rotor arm. Down smash, though. Taking John to the other side. Dill has only taken 56 so far. It's really been that that one interaction from numbers. John failing to do numbers tonight, or at least during this set. But finally taking Dill to triple digits. Not also a very tough matchup here against Dill, the player. So any, any set win against John, oh. I would say, by top players is definitely something to be celebrated. Numbers off stage, jump scare coming in as he's looking for a spike, but Dill holding on to this first stock, almost getting a crazy conversion off of that platform. But John still still holding on to this second stock. It feels like every single time John throws a oh. projectile out, like there's an answer from Dill. Like they grab the gyro, Ooh. they use the gyro, and then a laser comes out, or rotor arms, or just Dill goes in for the grab. It seems like Dill has just a read on John tonight that you don't see necessarily. Yeah, Rob's projectile is pretty fast. Tombstone gonna be taking things as Dill now moves up two stocks to one. Another little blinky eyes taunt. All right, let's, let's see if they can get another kill with the Tombstone. I want to see some Undertaker action here. All oh. right, choosing to fall off of the stage there doesn't want to deal with a tech situation. Now Dill just able to slowly make her way back into center stage, forcing John back into the corner. And now that John is down a stock, he's gotta be, he's kinda gotta be the one to force the issue here. Right, Dill forcing John to actually approach Ooh. instead of John being able to actually like uh, just charge up Sun Salutation and uh, deep breathing. Also absolutely fantastic reactions from John to Perry. Like the very first hit of the neutral air. Great stuff. Just tries to, all you need. Tries to go for a ledge trump, but John, master of ledges, he is going to be uh, winning out that interaction. No way. It's going to happen right? again. Still going deep. Yeah, trying to find a spike, but John just a little bit too far in to be found. All right. Does not get that re-grab punish, but we do get deep breathing. Yep, deep breathing. Going to be keeping John alive just a little bit longer. But 142, we are how now... how much longer? Yeah, we are going to be in uh, Tombstone range pretty soon. I think should be killing now, especially off of the platforms. Right, but John does have that mash. But I mean, save them. Yeah, mash Mash will help John with, like, down throw. But up throw, it's, it's going to be over for John. Is John actually going to make this comeback? Mm, I mean... 158, he basically can't get touched. I mean, he Gyro did. He's almost, still living. Gyro almost taking things. Ooh. Finally, the sun salutation. All right, John has to play perfectly. All right, that's a pretty good start. 38%. Right. No way. What a grab oh. tech. Oh, my gosh. Just shaking hands. This oh, should be it, though. It. Ah. No platform needed, and Dill is going to be taking game one over John Numbers. John is starting to bring that back. He definitely was. It it's it was looking a little scary out there, right? And you definitely saw Dill like after they lost their second stock. It was just, they just threw their head back. They're like, yeah. uh, <laughs> it's gonna happen." But you know what? It didn't. All right, John with the snake eater counter pick. 
He in loves to see it. Yes, John, DIing correctly here. And managing to get back here, that was a beautiful option from John there to take that second stock. Really give the momentum that they needed to at least stand a chance here on their last stock. And let's see if they bring that momentum here in game two. All right, just taking a moment to charge our respective projectiles. Still trying to find our way over to the side, but the soccer ball still active, saying, hang on, you you got to pay for entry. They do. It's $15. Everyone does. All right. The Z-Drop Gyro coming in, playing both sides, unfortunately, for Dill, as it gets John out of that interaction. Uh-oh. Dill now with just a little bit of a percent lead, but not too much as John is starting to force the corner pressure. All right, down tilts to condition the grab. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And the frustration from Dill, it gets everybody against John Numbers. You never expect the spike. Yeah, I'm not really sure where that side beat came from. It definitely didn't look like a confirm into it. Maybe trying to read an air dodge, but definitely trying, trying to read an air dodge. Like trying to read a, a hard defensive option like that from John is generally inadvisable. Yeah, and but you know what? That up smash coming out hot, just like Dill's white hot fury. Absolutely, these up airs coming in. That's huge damage and wasting the deep breathing timer as well. All right, John, we just getting back to the ledge. Nice little gentleman there from Dill. Ooh, the uh, gyro actually catching the air dodge. I do believe John wanted to uh, pick it up with the air dodge. Yes, instead. it has to be a neutral air dodge. You can't actually be uh, holding a direction. Ooh. All right, great confirm there with the gyro. Dill trying to close out this second stock as soon as possible. Does get the meaty hit of the back air. John really hasn't been able to hit. Oh, okay. That's, that's huge damage. Oh, but unfortunately, forward tilt is not safe on shield. The soccer ball saving John's life from the gyro. And I really appreciate the, like, player adaptation from Dill. Any other person right there, she would have down thrown, but instead choosing to go for the back throw, knowing that John has the mash on lock. And no amount of matching is helping you, is saving you from that down air. Oh no, Dill really oh. wanted it. Wanted to be like, hey, I can spike you too. All right. Um, to prove the ledge superiority now is Dill. Dill oh, is definitely gyro. still in the dream here on their second stock. Something that a few players could even dream of against John Numbers. John finds the parry, but not too much out of it. A throw into forward air kit and the damage back on. This is such amazing extra credit right now for Dill. But we did see how long John was living in his last talk in game one. You know, if they can live as long as they want, as long as they die on their last talk. And yeah. Dill sitting at 0% and John at 102. All right, all Dill needs to do is get a good edge guard or just get a good tombstone onto that platform. And here we go. No, not no, yet. Not quite yet, but reading the header with the full charge laser and John with the controller toss. That is not a, definitely not a, uh, a loss he is very happy about. No, definitely not. It's very rare that you actually see John frustrated by a matchup. I'm sure Fon yeah, is over there. Let's see this control. Yeah. Look oh, at the spin! The sp yeah, hold on here. Beautiful. <laughs> It oh looks, my ooh! god! Hold, hold on. Spin. That was beautiful. Over that way. It's all in the wrist. It really is. Man. I think everything, I think every set is done. I think so. Ooh. Yeah, so we're just gonna go to Fawn and Raptor on the loser side on stream. Definitely. All right. But still, an excellent play from both players. Love to see it. And the adaptation, like you said, was fascinating mm -hmm. to watch. So what what did you see Dill doing differently in game two to combat?